the wild I'm doing another actual YouTube video today before you watch any more of this make sure to subscribe smash the like button and turn on post notifications ring that little bell all right so today I'm going to be showing you how to um make a bracelet out of paracord bracelet out of paracord it's gonna look a little like this um my my dog a star right here. It's so cute. My buggy bow. It's right here. I'm actually going to be making a small one. It's going to be a uh, size like for a uh, bow. My dog. And okay. So they're going to look a little like that. Alright. So, but I do have. So. You want some paracord, you want it about... Okay guys, so let's get back um, to this. So you want some pretty long cord. Uh, I got my cord and it's size for a pretty small like arm. So you want it's about three feet. You probably want like four to five feet if you're trying to make like a bracelet like this. Like, you want it long. But if you're trying to just, like, make something small, like a keychain, um, three feet, two feet, that will work. Either way, let's get into this. So, I have the string, and what you want to do is line up the ends, and then you want to just go down. So, you have the loop, and it's all even cut and half. I'm gonna, and then you want to get the tip. And, well, let's show you to some people. So you want to get the tip. Then you want to line it all around your arm. But for me, I'm doing it for my dog. And then you want to get where it ends and add like an an inch or a half an inch. Well, you can move a little now. All right. So once you got that all done, once you got that all down, you want to keep that spot still, and then you want to fold it. Bo, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, what are you doing, Bo? You? Why are you trying to eat ants? My dog is trying to eat ants. So you fold it in half, and then you want to make that go off, and make that one go off. Okay? Then you, then you, okay. So you want to make it go right here, and bend it. So you have that, and then you want to make that go off. You want to fold that off. You want to put that right there, and then you have like a loop, right? And then you have this. Then you make this go over. You get the loop right here. You're going to make it go over and then on right on here please? and through then okay, you'll just Jordan. just pull okay then once you get this you want to pinch that and pull so it's like that then you're going to go on the other side and make a loop and you always want to make the loop Go over these two. And then you then you repeat. Make it go over, then under, and 
just repeat again and keep going through different sides. Then we'll go back to this side and then go over and under and under under and then we'll do this side again and you'll just repeat and repeat and go over and over I'll do a few time lapse and because I don't know if you want to just watch me do this over and over Okay, so I didn't have enough string actually, so I made like a keychain type thing. Um, this is really the finish, but if you were to do the bracelet, you would try to get it as tight as you can right here, and then you would have these strings still, and you would put them through here, and then wrap it. And make a knot and knot through this and then it'll just stay well that's how you would have done it but I ended up making like a keychain type thing I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want me to do more crafts and stuff like this just tell me down below um and before you go I would like to know your y'all's favorite cereal like, put in the comments y'all's favorite cereal or your favorite color because I couldn't make one of these in that type of color. But, yep, it's sort of like a keychain type thing. It's strong. Um, a good way to store your paracord. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. But, anyways, that's the end of the video. And I guess I'll see you next time. So, make sure to stay wild and be creative. See ya!